Hi, I'm Ben with New Tech Machinery, and today we're going to show you how to sight a piece of gutter. It's a good practice to do this sighting procedure anytime you do a changeover on a 5.6 combo machine or any type of time you're running a new type of material or just a new coil, even though it might be the same as the previous. First thing you want to do is you want to run a piece of at least seven to eight foot uh, material through your gutter machine. Once you run it through your machine, you're gonna grab a hold of it. You want to stand on one side, and I like to stand to where the face of the gutter is on my right hand, back the gutter on my left, kind of like the way it would be mounted to a piece of fascia board. First thing you want to do is you want to sight down the top of the gutter here to see if it's nice and straight. They just look down. What you're looking for is uh, what's called away from the house. Um, and that is when the gutter kind of bows away from the house. Into the house is when the top of the gutter here has a curve this way. If everything's nice and straight, you want to rotate 90 degrees. And now we're going to look down the very bottom corner of the gutter. And what we're looking for is to make sure that that is straight. The two options that you will see is either uphill or downhill. Downhill effect is where the gutter's gonna kinda have this kind of arc on this corner here. The uphill effect is gonna be where it curves uphill. I'll rotate it over another 90 degrees. You just wanna make sure that the bottom of the gutter is nice and straight. The options you have there, now that the gutter is upside down, here's the back of the gutter, and that would be against the fascia board. If you had a curve like this, then the whole bottom of the gutter would be considered going into the house. If you had a curve this way, that would be away from the house. Last thing, you wanna rotate it back up to sitting up straight, and you wanna look down the back corner here. And you just wanna kinda of sight down the button bottom corner and make sure the back of that gutter is nice and straight. And what your options are, can either be curved uphill like this or downhill. And when you're siding the gutter, if everything's nice and straight, the top here will be straight. This corner will be straight. The bottom of the gutter will be straight as well. Typically what you see is what you call, you'll have up and in. So if you sight down the gutter, it's gonna have like a into the house effect. And then if you were to rotate it this way, it'd have a uphill effect here. So the gutter kind of comes up and into the face board. The other opposite of that is where the top of the gutter is going away from the house. And then on the bottom of the gutter, it going downhill. All right, so typically you'll see both of those in conjunction if you see downhill and into the house, then I would recommend calling New Tech Machinery for the service because um, we need to investigate. There might be something else going on than just the basic setting of the machine. And one of the big reasons for doing this video today is to help you as the customer to communicate effectively to our service techs. If you call in with any questions, you can say, my gutter has up and in and then we can uh, direct you in the adjustment to straighten out that piece of gutter. Um, the other side of not having a nice piece of straight gutter is, looks better on uh, your customer's home, redirects the water properly so you don't have any low spots in the gutter, flows nice, the water will flow with the directions that you want it to go. Another item you wanna check on your gutter before you go into producing the gutter for your customers. You also want to double check that the width at the top of the gutter is correct. For a five inch gutter, you should measure five inches across the top. And that's the same if you're running six inch size gutter, you'll have six inches across the top. The reason this is important is to make sure that your, um, your hangers will fit correctly in the gutter. And then when you go to install, it doesn't pull or um, deflect the gutter and cause dimples on the face of the gutter. So a few other things to check for, um, they might be rare, 
Um, but it's a good idea just to get in the habit of double checking is you also want to make sure when you sight down your gutter that the face of the gutter or the bottom or the back is nice and smooth. You don't want to see any ripples or waviness or what we call oil canning. Also, you in the bottom of the gutter here or anywhere in a crease where there's a roller that's going to contact that material, you don't want to see any dimples. Um, you also rotate to the inside of the gutter and just look wherever there's a bend, make sure there's no double tracking or where rollers aren't hitting in the same spot to form that bend. Hopefully with what you've learned today, if you do have questions, you can contact new NTM service department and this will help us diagnose your problems quicker and easier. If you have any questions, give us a call. Thank you.